Hi everyone, um, good to be back and um, I'm here just to share some more insights um, from myself to help you guys out there take your first steps into making films if you haven't already done so. So really this is for, um, this bit of advice is for those new filmmakers that are kind of just starting out taking their first steps in making their short films. So in making this first short film I, I'm going to say to start with you should just go easy on yourself and, and not make it too difficult for yourselves in making your first film. Nothing wrong with having any kind of a challenge but uh, at the same time if this is your first film or it's you know early stages of your filmmaking career then let's make something simple. It's going to develop your skills. My first bit of advice to you here would be to consider what kind of a film you want to make. Just a rough idea in your head and also what resources are available to you. So, you know, we're going to, sh uh, would you shoot in the local area? What have you got easy access to? And, you know, what, what resources have you got available for yourself? The next thing to think about then is to think, you know, who's going to help you with this film? How many, how many people do you need for crew? And um, who are you going to be your crew members? What are they going to do to help you? Also, part of that is considering then what locations you have available. I would go for my advice is look for locations that are easy access. If you've got access to a friend's or family member's house, that's excellent. Use that if you can. Um, public places, I guess as long as they're not too crowded and you can kind of have some space to shoot there, use those. And anywhere else that you may have access to, the more interesting, the better for yourselves. But try and have that in place in advance, really. I'd say start with that. So um, once you've thought about locations and crew members and what resources, which also includes how much money you want to spend, you will just just kind of naturally incur costs from trying to pay for things, you know, people's meals on the days that you're shooting, just odd bits of equipment you need to made to you know buy, etc. All of that kind of stuff. So the next thing I'd say is think about what equipment that you have available already. Have you got a camera? Have you got a tripod? Are you going to go handheld? So think about not only the equipment that you've got, especially the camera gear, but what what method would you want to consider? How are we going to go about shooting this film? So you know what's going to be your process are you going to go handheld do you need tripods what kind of shots are you going to need it's going to be a combination of things so think about all of that and really think about what's going to be easy for you i think that that should be the your method to um approach this process is just think right okay so what can i do to make this easy on myself so how can i shoot this who do i need what have i got access to so once you've had the chance to plan all of that information out put that on paper think it through then really let's try and put a script around that so something uh, in terms of locations that are easy access for you locations that um as i say you can get to easily and are easy to kind of work with and write your script around that so keep it simple keep it simple again i refer back to my uh film good time token which i made a long time ago um but I, I worked with what I had available and I, I worked backwards. So I had two friends that were actors that, that you'll see in the film and also access to their house, which was the location, access to some digital camera equipment, my own at the time. So all of that, I wrote the story around what was available. So start with a script, start with something simple. You can still make it a really interesting story if you need to. Consider where you might need to shoot dialogue also and consider, you know, sound issues. So what camera and sound gear are you gonna use for all of this? Who's gonna be in it? Write that first draft, get it on the page. I recommend the shorter the better because really you're kind of testing out ideas at the stage and you're trying to understand the process and develop your skills in this particular field. So make it short, I, I recommend actually five. Five pages is good. As a beginner keep it simple on yourself then get together your crew and equipment and spend some time working through as a you know as a team how you're going to do this and discussing that as a team how you're going to do this and this is where the, the next part of organizing and planning is important create a schedule which is what you will shoot on what day so you know even though it might be really short you might not be able to shoot that on all in one go on one day so it's going to take two if it's going to take two or three days then how, how are you going to do that Okay, so consider that. So put together a schedule, what you'll shoot on what day, and also a shot list. So a shot list is a collection of shots for, for each sequence, for each scene that you've got. Uh, so really just think about how you're going to present that, how you're going to log those shots. So what, what, what do you need in each of those sequences? At this point, you can also start rehearsing, I would say. I'd say the more you rehearse, the smoother it will go, as I've found over the years in making any kind of film at all is that the more practice to have the more preparation is done it comes to doing it it becomes easier because you 
better prepared. So rehearse with your actors, better still if you can get to the locations and rehearse, you can block your shots, which is work out what shots you want, create your shot list, work out what kind of performances you want. That's really the director skill, you know, part of the director skill is working out what you want within each sequence and how you're gonna go about it. So get your actors together, rehearse, plan as much as possible, talk to your crew members, tell them what you're doing. Then once you've gone through all of that process, the next stage is then to actually go ahead and shoot. So rehearse as much as possible and then take your schedule with you and your shot list and your crew and everything else and then go and shoot your film, okay? Obviously, you're learning, you're always gonna, yeah, and there's always gonna be challenges and you may make mistakes, but at the same time, you may make also really good decisions as well. So think about what's important to you and, you know, try not to let the mistakes bother you too much if you do make mistakes and try, try and be positive. And, you know, it can be, it can be grueling, it can be a challenge, it can be difficult shooting any film, even a, a five minute short film, but try and, try and um, plan as much as possible as you can in terms of shooting it and shoot it in the order that you think is the easiest for yourselves and your crew and your cast. So once you've shot your footage, review it, okay? If you need to go back, which is, you know, can, can be frustrating and, and uh, annoying, but if you need to go back and shoot some more, go back and shoot some more. Again, make sure that actors and cast and crew are available on those extra days if you need them. So go back and shoot it. Then the next stage really is then to review your footage and then start assembling it into some kind of edit that makes sense. So work out what your shots were, think back to your shots. Um, actually storyboards may also help you during the shooting phase if you need to. So do that if it's necessary. But when you're in the edit stage and you've got everything you need and you start to assemble it, put it together, start putting it in the right order and start thinking about how the story moves forward in each scene and what it is that you're saying to your audience. So all of those things are really important. You know, there may be mistakes, there may be continuity areas, there may be sound problems, there may be all kinds of issues. You've got to work through that, that edit process to work those things out. That That is part of your, your job in, in putting that film together. So work through, you know, shots, uh, make sure the shots fit as you as you intended them to fit and the story works the way that you wanted it to work. Sometimes you will have to make compromises. That happens to us all as any, you know, anybody who's a creative may have to make compromises. But um, make the best film that you can possible through your edit. Then once we're there, um, we're kind of getting close to the end now. Think about your uh, sound and music, audio, any title sequences, any kind of effects that you might need, might need to, to add at this stage. Any of those things, all of those things are important. Consider how you might do that. And then finally, once you've got a, a first cut together, I'd even recommend showing it to a few people and, and getting a second opinion because it's good for you to kind of explore that with an audience, any kind of audience at this stage because you want some relevant feedback. So once you have that, once you have your, your first cut there, go back and look and edit, edit again if, you, if possible. Look at re-editing if it needs it. Think about where it might need music and, and anything else, effects, etc. titles, and then finish your film. What I thoroughly recommend is, again, before you've released it anywhere publicly, show it to a small audience or show it to just one or two people if you want to. Um, I think actually think the more the better because you can understand people's responses to your film. So that would be my, my next uh, bit of advice for you is, share it with an audience and then when you feel confident that it's the best film you can make whether it has you know issues with it or not is another story that is part of the learning process don't be too hard on yourself especially because it's one of the first things that you've made so go ahead and then distribute it you know show it to people make sure it can find some kind of an audience and then again use that as a, a learning curve, a, you know, as a process of learning about your craft and be better at it for next time. Thanks very much for listening. Um, I will see you all next time. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm going to be making regular videos. Uh, my videos won't just be about you know, my filmmaking processes, but also about um, camera equipment, shooting different genres, anything at all related to film and television production. Yeah, so uh, please feel free to subscribe. If you've got any questions or comments, do get in touch and um, look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks.